Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going for the week streak. Yeah, seven days in a row. Nice. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, the title of this video, uh, I, I'm titled it uh, Worldwide Shoppers, uh, just because that's one of the songs um, that I've been, uh, one of the things I've been getting into, it's like, it's not like a goal of mine per se, or like anything I'm like, actively pursuing but i think it would be fun to get back into is um I, and i know this sounds silly like um you know but uh one of the things i like to do is to um you know like rap along with music uh or sing along with music you know maybe like not necessarily like hip-hop or rap but <clears throat> you know i primarily primarily listen to rap and hip-hop and uh you know i like to rap with it um i Honestly, I feel like it kind of helps, like, with, like, keeping my memory and, like, brain in, intact in some way. Um, you know, I don't know, just, like, being able to, like, memorize that cadence and, like, the lyrics and, and like, to just line up with it. I, I don't know, maybe that's bro science, but I, I just feel like it, it has helped me, like, maintain some, some of my cognition. Um, but anyways, earlier today I was, uh going over a few songs um uh worldwide choppers uh break your neck uh look at me now is there any other ones no i think those are kind of like the three ones right now and, I, and i've practiced before but like i've i'm practicing a little bit more um but uh i would like to try to get um uh down pat all of the uh Versus the Busta's verse on Look At Me Now. Um, the three verses on, on Break Your Neck. I mean, old Busta Rhymes, of course. He's the only one on there. Um, and uh, on Worldwide Choppers, try to get Tech Nine, um, Yellow Wolf, uh, Twista, and uh, Busta Rhymes. Get all those down. I think it'd be especially cool. I, I'm not going to try right now, at least. But I think it'd be especially cool to, like, do the... Um, the other verses in like other languages um, i think there's a few other ones that are in english but i'm not so interested in those ones like no offense to you know that that uh, artist um but uh it'd be kind of cool to do like the uh, foreign language ones uh but that uh, that uh, i don't know about that um but yeah, actually, I had a pretty good uh, practice uh, earlier today. It's it's cool. It's nice to be able to go to like YouTube and like look up a lyric video, and then uh, under sentence adjust the uh, playback speed and uh, put it down to like fifty percent or seventy five percent, and then just kind of go along with it. Uh, of course, I have to be careful. Uh, you know, with um, I think all of three of the songs, yeah, contains. Um, one or more uh instances of the n-word um of course uh you know that's a big no-no to uh say so uh I, i've been using uh, hopefully this isn't offensive like hopefully this is like uh, i guess a cute workarounds um at least uh hopefully not offensive but i need to because i need those syllables like i can't just like not say something like i need syllables so um uh, i've been using ninja like you know hopefully that's okay i don't see why that wouldn't be okay um but uh yeah i don't know I, I just think it's fun so that's something i've been doing or something i did today and something i'll probably pra continue practicing um you know especially like you know like now that i'm in recovery my brain is a lot more clear although to be fair i used to be pretty good about doing it under the influence too but um not that's a bragging thing uh, if anything, it's actually kind of more difficult to do it sober because I've done it more under the influence than I have sober. So that's kind of a, an added challenge in a way. I know that sounds really sad. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's kind of uh, one of my intent. Like, uh, again, not intentions or goals, but that's just something fun to kind of work on. Um, and it'd be cool to like get it down pat and be able to do it. Um, yeah, I, I just think that's pretty cool. Um, and, um, yeah, so, uh, other than that, I mean, today's been a pretty good day. Um, uh, went and did a leg workout today. 
that was really nice. Uh, I was thinking, well, I had two thoughts. Um, one, it's nice that I can warm up with the like amount of weight that I was first starting off at when I first started um, uh, working out at Planet Fitness and doing legs like uh, last year. Uh, it's nice that I can just warm up with that and then I can go on to a little bit of a heavier uh, weight. And uh, yeah, I got some really good uh, sets. Uh, get, got some really good weight and some sets done today. But another thought I had too, uh, which I, I think would be kind of funny, um, especially if you have like um, the uh, black card and you can go to multiple gym locations. Because um, I, I don't know if you could do this like at the same one repeatedly uh, in one day, but uh, I think it'd be really funny to like check in. Uh, you know, like, um, there's, um, use your phone, there's an app, you scan it, uh, the QR code to check you in, um, at the front desk. And then what I do is, uh, they have free lockers, fortunately, so I don't have to buy a lock. Um, and I just cram my backpack and all my stuff in there. I'm sure it's meant more just for, like, small personal items, like wallet and stuff like that. I keep my wallet on me and my phones, uh, you know, partially the phones so I can listen to music. <clears throat> but I don't want to leave anything valuable in there just in case someone like um, either sees my code or, you know, like you could just claim like, oh, hey, my locker's not open. And then, so, you know, they'll unlock it with a key. Um, even though some of them like ask like, hey, what's, you know, like what's in there, you know, just to kind of confirm. <laughs> Uh, you know, because obviously it's like, oh, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, maybe that's not your locker. But anyways, uh, or, you know, if someone sees the, the combination I use. Um, so, and it's like small enough to where it doesn't impede. But uh, I bring my backpack with me because I have my shakers. And uh, like I said in a previous video, I put my sweatshirt in there too, just as a, just in case I get cold. Um... So I put all my stuff in there and then, you know, set it and, and do that. Um, but I, I think it'd be funny to uh, to come in, sign in, do that, hop on a treadmill, especially like one close to like the, uh, the front desk, and then like walk at like two miles an hour for like five minutes and then get off, stop it, get off it, get your stuff and, and leave the gym and just... <laughs> like do that um again i don't know if that would work or you'd be able to do that like repeatedly and um multiple times a day but like to do that like uh at one gym uh location like on a daily basis so that way it's like you know the staff start observing and be like wow. so this one person just comes in like gets their stuff in the locker like does five minutes of like slow walking and leave like and they're done <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just think that that would be that's just a, a silly thought, you know. I think that would be kind of a fun, um, I guess, a little prank. I guess you know, it's like a heart, like you know, uh, you see these videos online, like on TikTok and YouTube, of like, of these like pranksters just being dicks to people in public and just uh, being insufferable and uh you know like affecting other people I, I think that you know my idea would be like a harmless prank you know it's like not no one's really being harmed um i just think it'd be fine for the staff to just be like mm, okay that's interesting you know i guess five minutes of uh slow walking is all that that person needs for their uh exercise <laughs> um so yeah uh but then came home and uh uh, you know, the little bit of, um, I guess an incident, um, one of the housemates apparently had invited, um, some salespeople in to, like, demonstrate a vacuum cleaner, um, which, you know, isn't against the rules per se, but kind of weird, you know, like, to just have strange people, especially, like, with the, like, without having the intention of, like, buying it, it was like, um, I think like one of the, the expensive vacuums it's like the facility that owns this place isn't going to purchase it and um you know the housemate i don't think you know they, they might have the means of purchasing affording it but probably not going to purchase it so it's like why are you even having them in here like why are you even entertaining that and, and like i get it you know it's like why not you know it's like it's harmless um 
um, you know, no one's being hurt, you know, it's all out in the common areas, you know, and, you know, the housemate was with them the whole time, so, um, you know, it wasn't like anything bad, but uh, still, it's just like, mm, you know, I, I don't know, I just I feel a little iffy about it. It's like one thing if you have, like, friends over, or people you know, and it's like, you're over here kind of briefly, but, you know, to have people over here, strangers over here, demonstrating something that you're not going to buy for two and a half hours, like, eh. So I talked with the housemate. I feel bad, but uh, I, I'm glad, like, I've really been working on being, like, assertive and, uh, you know, with setting boundaries. And I wouldn't say this is an instance of, like, kind of setting boundaries, but definitely assertive communication you know um where in the past i would have just been passive and just been like oh well that's kind of weird you know but like oh, I, I don't want to confront them um but I, you know i just talked with him afterwards i'm just like like you know what's the deal like what happens um and uh you know just like yeah that's just kind of weird you know like i don't know like you know especially since this, this is like a, a shared house you know, like maybe uh, getting the input of others beforehand would have been nice. Um, so hopefully he took it the, you know, didn't take it the wrong way. I, I wasn't trying to be like rude or angry. I, and, I, and that's a nice thing too. It's like, I wasn't aggressive. I feel I was, you know, assertive and just expressed my concerns, you know. Um, yeah. And, and so said, he said, you know, oh, okay. You know, that's, that, that makes sense, you know won't happen again um <clears throat> so yeah you know that's a little little kind of an iffy thing i guess today but again you know i guess a good uh experience of practicing sort of communication um <clears throat> i've been uh <clears throat> had dinner had another one of the uh, those uh, fried rice things having a yogurt uh so pretty decent dinner and uh yeah now i'm just gonna kind of chill and hopefully go to bed um, early-ish. I slept pretty well last night. I wasn't so restless, which was really nice. That was, I hope tonight's like that as well. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a leg, or not leg workout, a uh, chest workout. Wednesdays are chest, uh, days. So I'm looking forward to that. And, um, I meet with, uh, only one peer tomorrow, um, over the phone. Um, so don't have too much going on. Um, I, I was able to do a few surveys and studies today earlier, but I, I have, I still need to like work on more of them so I can get enough money. Um, but again, I'm not really worried about it. Like even if I'm not able to come up with the money, like all of it, uh, you know, I could pay off most of it. And it's like, even if I couldn't or whatever, uh, you know, it's not going to be like immediate eviction, you know? Um, so, but I, I really hope I start getting some more matches, um, with the recovery coaching. And I hope that those matches are more, c um, consistent and regular with meeting with me. Um, so I can get paid. <laughs> uh, because cause I, I, I really like this setup. I know I've talked about this before. I really like the flexibility and, like, being able to, like, be so, like, like lax, you know, and, like, not have to wake up at a certain time to go to work, worrying about getting to work and getting back home and all the logistics and scheduling and, and whatnot. Um, you know, so it's a trade-off, um, that's for sure. Um, the inconsistency and not guaranteed income... Uh, I think it's worth it, uh, especially since I have other ways of making up for that. So, yeah, today's been a good day. Um, tomorrow um, should be a good day, too. I'm, I'll, I'll do my best to make it a good day. Uh, and just keep keep this uh, momentum going. That's that's the, the main goal, I guess. Um, because it's like stuff like this. Like, if I even take one day off and, like, even, like, probably possibly you know i guess a slippery slope even if i'm like you know maybe go a day without brushing my teeth or go a day without showering after you know the gym or you know doing regular laundry um it's very possible to lose steam and then to like uh 
stop doing other things and then you know like possibly get to the point where it's like i'm not doing a single thing any uh like for during the day and then you know i get depressed and you know i can get stuck in that so it's like i i need to just keep going and using this momentum and just carrying that forward um and uh not let my guard down um so yeah so yeah i'm gonna end the video here um thank you all for for watching as always um please like this uh comment subscribe <laughs> um and uh yeah i will see you guys next time